Happy Victober! Today is the first day of Victober, so I thought I would kick it off with a Victorian bookshelf tour. Well, happy Victober. I am super excited that it is the month of October, the best time of the year. And I thought I would start with a quick tour of the books I have on my shelf that are all Victorian literature. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let you see it. I'm also wearing my um, Jane Eyre shirt in celebration of Victober. I am one of these people that loves the bookish t-shirts. So I have several of these. But I, and I wear it all year long, not just for Victober. But I thought I would wear my Jane Eyre shirt for this video. But you're not going to see much of me because I'm going to be sharing my shelf of the books I have been collecting that are Victorian literature. So let me turn the camera around so that you can see. So the first thing you'll find is Charles Dickens. I have lots of Charles Dickens on my shelf. Um, these are a special collection of Charles Dickens books. I think I have two and then I'll have the whole set, and my husband has been buying those for me, so that's always a special surprise when he brings one home. I love these books. That's my pride and joy. Then I have some biographies of Dickens. This is the Michael Slater. I think both of these biographies, art from um, Bookshelf Odyssey, told me about those. This was my favorite David Copperfield edition. It's the Reader's Digest. If you can get a Reader's Digest, those are great. And then I have the Pickwick Papers in this beautiful edition. I love that one. And then I also have some um, Penguin paperbacks. I've been collecting these because I think when I reread some of the Charles Dickens, I'm going to annotate in these Penguin paperbacks because they're great for that. And they're used anyway, so I thought that would be great to use for that. I also have this Dinner with Dickens that I picked up recently from Book Outlet. There was a sale, and I thought it would be fun for Victober, so I'm going to be flipping through that one during Victober. Can't wait to do that. This is the front of those books that I was telling you about, that special collection. Aren't those just beautiful? I love the gold title on each spine. I thought that was really pretty, too. It just sets them apart, and again, he's been finding these used, and all of them have been in great shape. You know, someone just keeps them on the shelf, I guess, and I just love them. These are just some more of my books that I have on my shelf. This is the other uh, shelf below that one. Lots of Victorian books that I've collected over the years. Love these. This is my Jane Eyre that I read just recently in the Reader's Digest. I'm loving the Reader's Digest books. I just think they're great. I love this too. I thought this was pretty. I have no idea what that cover has to do with Wuthering Heights. Then I found this Shirley. I forgot to mention this in my latest library sale. I found this for $1 in perfect shape. thought it was just beautiful. It doesn't even look like it's been read, so I was excited to get Shirley and add that one to my collection. Just beautiful. I love the Paper Mill Press books. This one's my favorite. My family's been picking these up for me from time to time. They have like a flexible feel to them. It's not leather, but it feels that way. And they have the ribbon bookmark. They're just beautiful. So I have uh, a few of these. I also have Frankenstein in this too, but that's not Victorian, so I, I don't have it on this shelf. Um, but they're really pretty if you can get your hands on the Paper Mill Press editions. They're really pretty. Now, this should be on my Dickens shelf, but I didn't have room, so I just put it with my Paper Mill Press books. But Great Expectations, I received this, I think, for Christmas a couple of years ago. Then I have the uh, Picture of Dorian Gray. I just picked this up at Book Outlet, and I loved the cover of that one. I just, I love this book. It's a great story if you haven't read this one. But isn't that beautiful? Then I have some Elizabeth Gaskell here. Um, I've just found that middle March there at the library sale. Still need to read Sylvia's Lovers. Hadn't read that one yet by Elizabeth Gaskell. I loved this. I found this at an estate sale. It's a beautiful copy of Diary of a Nobody. I love the slim volume. It was just an odd size to look like um, his house. And I just, I laugh every time I look at the cover of this because that is just such a funny little a Victorian classic. It's a great book if you've never read it, but the book was just in perfect shape. 
Then I have Far From the Mating Crowd. I have not read this yet. This has probably been on my shelf for years. <laughs> I really need to get to this one soon by Thomas Hardy. Middle March, I found this at an estate sale. I just couldn't resist that cover. It's a hardback, but it's pretty hefty, so I think I'm going to read it from the paperback when I get to that one. But that is one I want to read next year. And then this is without the dust jacket of the Middle March book. I love the cover of this. It's just, it has sort of a, a textured feel to it, but it was a beautiful design on that book. But I like the dust wrapper, so I keep the dust wrapper on it. This is a, a ch Child's Garden of Verses by Robert Louis Stevenson. We all know this one growing up, I'm sure, all the uh, poetry. There's lots of editions of that one. Vanity Fair. I thought this was a pretty copy of Vanity Fair. I loved it. I have a paperback, too, of this, but I love this hardcover. Beautiful dust jacket on that one. And then this is The Little Lame Prince. Um, I'm reading this one for Victober, and I'm excited about it. And then this is uh, a few more that I have on another shelf below that. There's not that many left uh, to go over here, but there's uh, a few here that I wanted to talk about. My collection of H.G. Wells, I received this for Christmas last year, and I have read all of the books in this set except for The First Men um, and the Moon, I think is what it's called. I haven't read that one yet. Then I have an Oscar Wilde collection. Someone gave me this beautiful slip case with um, a hardcover copy of the works of Oscar Wilde. And then I have this beautiful The Return of the Native by Thomas Hardy. Have not read this, and I have two, two copies of The Return of the Native. And then I have this beautiful copy of um, At the Back of the North Wind by George MacDonald. Uh, it is beautiful in person. I wish you could see this book. It's just it's gorgeous, a gorgeous copy of that one. And The Prince and, Princess and the Goblin. I love the cover of this. And then I have these that sit on a different shelf, Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre. They're illustrated editions. They sit in um, my living room. And that is supposed to be, I guess, Heathcliff on, on the front of that. I think that's who that's supposed to be. And that is the cover of Jane Eyre. So those are the books on my Victorian bookshelf. I hope that your Victober is off to a good start and you have great plans. Let me know what you're reading to kick off Victober in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.